subscribe to Emmanuel Tutorials and press the bell icon for notifications. Hello everyone, welcome back to Emmanuel Tutorials. Today we will be again seeing a doubt asked by a student. This is again uh, related to uh, operations on time of a signal. So the signal which is given to us is this and you have to find out first x of t minus 3 and x of t plus 3 and second is you have to find out x of 2 t plus 2 and x of t by 2 minus 2. Now uh, it, you can also if you also have any doubts like these you can send them uh, in the comments and I'll try to upload a video uh, for that. So let's start x of t minus 3 you already know what is x of t minus 3 it's the delay of a signal so delay by how much the value is given t naught is 3 so you this whole signal will shift to the right by 3 so let's do that x of t minus 3 this will get over in the first uh, time itself so because there is only shifting now delay means so the signal at minus 1 will appear at minus 1 plus 3 so minus 1 plus 3 is what it's 2 so at 2 you will see the first point of the signal so can you just draw this it will be something like this and the point at 0 will appear at 0 plus 3 so it will be appearing at 3 so this will be something like this point at 1 will appear at 1 plus 3 which is 4 so it will be like this point at 2 will appear at 2 plus 3 which is 5 so it will be something like this it's very simple hope you understood this you can also label these the numbers on the axis amplitude and time axis now let's go to the next one that is x of t plus 3 this is just advancing the signal now moving the left to the uh, left by 3 again let's draw the axis x of t plus 3 and you have to consider this original signal Here also you can draw it, uh, put the points till minus 5 and write also. Now what you have to remember, minus 1, the point at minus 1 will appear in the resultant signal at minus 1, minus 3 because it's a shift by 3, right? So it will be at minus 4, so at minus 4 we will have this point of the signal. Next is 0 0 will appear at 0 minus 3 that is minus 3 so this point will appear at minus 3 the point at 1 will appear at 1 minus 3 which is minus 2 right so it will be like this and the point at 2 will appear at 2 minus 3 which is minus 1 so the signal will be like this hope you understood this now we will go to the next uh, sub question here we have both shifting and scaling and by precedence rule we know that always first shifting is done and then scaling. We have also seen many other numericals complex numericals also related to shifting and scaling you can look it up on the signals and systems playlist on Emmanuel tutorials. Now let's do this now shifting so shifting here is advancing right plus 2 so you are going to shift the signal by 2 to the left just as we did previously for t plus 3 to the left by how much by 2 so if we shift to the left by 2 means where will we have the first point at minus 1 minus 2 that is minus 3 so we can just uh, mark the points till minus 3 and on the right also we can mark 2-3 points. This is x of t plus 2. 
so the first point is going to appear on minus 3 minus 1 minus 2 0 minus 2 is the second point so at minus 2 we'll be able to see the second point of the signal then at 1 minus 2 that is minus 1 we'll see the third point of the signal and at 2 minus 2 0 we will see the last point of the signal. So this is our signal in the shifted in the advanced manner by 2. Now we have to scale it by 2. So this is compression because we are multiplying by 2. So what is going to happen is this signal is going to reduce in width. How do we do that? Let's see it. So x of 2t plus 2 is going to be something like this. So what's going to happen is the signal at each point is going to appear at the signal at half that point. Because half means divide by 2. We are multiplying it by 2 in the uh, Two in the signal inside the x of uh, t formula so what we are going to do is divide by 2 in the resultant signal so divide by 2 means the point at minus 3 is going to appear at minus 3 by 2 which is minus 1.5 so minus 1.5 is here so here it will appear first part of the signal next minus 2 the point at minus 2 will appear at minus 2 by 2 which is minus 1 the point at minus 1 will appear at minus 1 by 2 which is minus 0.5 that is this one. Now this is a continuous time signal so even decimal values of the uh, time axis will have amplitudes of signals. They will not be 0. And the point at 0 will appear at 0 by 2 which is again 0. So it's just a compressed version of the original signal. Now let's go to the next part. Here we are going to delay and expand because it's divided by 2 we are going to expand so let's do that delay what will happen to the signal just move it to the right by 2 so minus 1 point will appear at minus 1 plus 2 so that is 1 so at 1 we will see the first point of the signal 0 plus 2 is 2 so at 2 we'll see the second point of the signal 1 plus 2 is 3 so at 3 we'll see the third point of the signal and 2 plus 2 is 4 so at 4 we'll see the last point of the signal this is the same amplitude this is our x of t minus 2 now what we have to do t by 2 which is expansion how do we do expansion now the same way we divided the time values here we will multiply the time values by whatever uh, uh, a scaling factor that they have given so here it is 2 so we will multiply it by 2 so what's going to happen is the point the signal at 1 is going to appear at 1 minus into 2 which is 2 so we'll just draw it this way so the first point of the signal is going to be at 2 the second point of the signal that is at 2 will be at 2 into 2 that is 4 so 2 3 4 so at 4 you will see the second point of the signal the next point that is third uh, the point at 3 the amplitude at 3 is going to appear at 3 into 2 that is 6 6 so it's going to be something like this there is no change in amplitude so the amplitude is going to remain the similar uh, way and the point at 4 is going to appear at 4 into 2 that is 8. It's simple. So, so what we have done here it got constricted or compressed the signal here we have expanded the signal. You can see the difference easily. So this is x of t by 2 minus
hope you understood uh, these uh, numericals if you have any doubts related to this uh, this uh, video or any other video or any other concepts related to signals and systems or electronics engineering you could mention them in the comments i'll, I'll try to upload a video related to that thank you for watching please like share and subscribe to manual tutorials for more thank you subscribe to manual tutorials and press the bell icon for notifications